the class. The aim of this activity, actually, it's really important. It introduces the concept of uncertainty, data, process, data processing, and graphing. Our objective today is to calculate the uncertainty ingredient using Linset function in Excel, draw the error bar using Excel, draw maximum and minimum slope using, using Excel. So this slope, the line, I will, I will show you how to draw a straight line, how to write the equation on the line, how to label your axis, how to draw these error bars, you see these error bars, how to find the maximum and minimum uh, lines, and how to calculate as well using Linux, uh, Linux function, uh, the uncertainty uh, uh, in slope and y-intercept. Now, our experiment, and this is a good experiment from Think IB. Uh, the experiment, I shared it already uh, with you in Google Drive. The aim of uh, the experiment is we were going to use different size of plasticine balls. Each time, we're, uh, this is vernier caliper, by the way, each time we're going to measure the mass of these balls and their diameter using vernier caliper. We're going to use Excel. All our measurement, we're going to write them in a table. First column, we have a mass in gram. I have different size. And the diameter in centimeter, we'll write them here, all of them in the table, tabulate all our data in the table. In DP, you should write the uncertainty of the instrument you're using here in the header of your table. Now, if you're using, um, if you're using uh, analog device like uh, vernier caliper, how can you calculate the uncertainty? Most of the devices, they have the uncertainty written on the back of the device or um, in the catalog of the device itself, or you can calculate it manually using the formula that we've studied in the class, positive or negative half, the smallest scale vision. If you're using a digital device like a winning device to measure the mass, uh, you can calculate the uncertainty using the formula positive or negative smallest digit shown. I'm not going through all of this because we've studied already them in the class. Um, just revise your class note. Uh, what's important for me now, how I'm going to verify this formula. Aim of the experiment is to verify that the mass of the sphere M is directly proportional with the diameter a cube. Now, when you write an, an equation in your IA or in your, or in your uh, lab report, you have to write from where you get this equation. You drive this equation from where. I will give you a hint because this experiment we already done it in the class. So I have the volume, it's a sphere. The volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi R cube, R is diameter over 2. So substitute here, and you have the density of the ball is mass over volume. All of these values substituted here. Arrange your, your values, you should get this equation. D cube is my variable, and M, it's my other variable. In physics, we try our best to linearize our equation. What do I mean by linearize our equation? Linearize our equation, make it in a straight line. Now, this equation is not linear. If I draw a relationship between mass and diameter, or diameter and mass, I will not get a straight line. I won't get a straight line. I will get actually a curve. It's, it's, it's a cubic equation, so the curve looks like this. So what I'm going to do, I will, make, I will write this equation, I will consider it as linear, y equal mx plus this, the y-intercept. I don't have y-intercept here, y-intercept is zero. So my y, in y-axis, I will have d cube. In x-axis, I will have x. So what is my slope? This one, 6 over pi rho. This will represent my slope. So when I draw a relationship 
I draw a relationship between what? Between d cube, you see, d cube here on y axis and m on x axis. I should get a straight line. This is straight line, I can make it passing through the zero. You see here, I, I, I don't have y intercept, and the equation of this straight line here, it will be m x. I don't have y intercept. That's what I'm going to do. So let's start. After I write everything in my table, I have to determine that mean. I'm going to just empty everything and redo it again. So here, clear content. When I take many measurements, I have to find the mean. How I'm going to find the mean of diameter, I will write equal, average. Okay, here, double click, it appears down, double click on it, and go, I need the average of the diameter, highlight them all, close the bracket, click enter. I don't need to repeat what I've done in the first cell, all I need to do is just go to the first cell, you see, here I have like a small uh, box uh, down and the corner on the right uh, corner. I put my mouse on it and drag it all the way down. Now I need D cube because my relationship it has D cube. So I will write equal. I need this value highlighted, shift with number six, three, click enter. I will go again and drag it all the way down. I need to find the maximum. Why do I need to find the maximum? Because I need, I, after all, I have to find the uncertainty and we learned before uncertainty, uncertainty, if I have many measurement, equals what? Equal maximum minus minimum divided by two. So I have to find my maximum. What is my maximum? What is my minimum? I have to verify them. So here I will go. I will write equal. Okay. I need max. Double click on it down. Maximum of these values. Close the bracket. Cube, so shift with number six, okay, and write three to get the cube, and then click enter. Highlight it again, drag it all the way down. Similarly, I can find the minimum value, same method, equal. This time I will write min, minimum, double click, Highlight all my values, close the bracket, shift with number six, and write three because I need cube, click enter. Go and do the same thing, drag, it, drag them all. Now I have to find the uncertainty. This one is the uncertainty. Uncertainty, it's equal, maximum, value, this one is the maximum value, minus minimum value, close the bracket, divided by two. Go and do the same thing, drag it all the way down. After that, I need to start drawing. I need to draw what? I need to draw a relationship between mass here and diameter cube. And I need as well to write the error bars, the error bar which represent the uncertainty. So I can open another sheet. I have to copy all of these. So here I just need to delete all of this. Okay. So I'll go here. I need this one. I'll copy it. I'll go here. And then I click paste as values. You see, one, two, three, only value. 
I don't, I don't need formulas. I just only need the value. And here I go to this one, select them all, copy. Here, paste as values, values. Okay. What else do I need? I need the error bar, so I select this one as well, select it, copy, go here, and paste them as values. I need to draw a relationship between D cube, this one, and M, mass. So I select this one. I can select any one of them. Here on the top, click Insert, and go to Chart, Scatter Plot. Go to any point, right-click, and choose Select Data, Edit, now I need to name my, my graph now. I, I need a relationship between diameter, cube, versus mass. I can name it like that. Um, X-axis, what do I want in X-axis? Axis is my mass values, so I select them all. Y, y values, it's the diameter cube. Diameter cube. Okay. Okay, okay. I can, I can as well add axis to, I label my axis. So where can I label my axis? You see this point here, chart element, or here on the top, add chart element. So if I add, click here, I need axis title. Click this one. Here, it's mass M. This is mass. You have to write the unit. I have the unit in gram. Here, I have diameter cube, diameter cube, and you need to write the unit, centimeter cube, centimeter cube. Okay, I can draw a line, add a trend from here, right click, add a trend, or I can go still here and select a trend line, select a trend line. Go to this one, more option, more option. I wanted linear, I need, I need to set the intercept at zero, and I want to display my equation on the chart. That's it. Time. The other thing, I need to draw the error bar now. I have to draw the error bar. So here, I go to this one, Error bars. You see, it will it will give me error bar, but this error bar are, ro are wrong. So I will I will check the error bar. Yes, but I have to click more option, more option. Select the horizontal bar. This one. Okay. Horizontal bar. I actually I don't have uh, I don't have uncertainty in, in in x direction. I have only one values for for the mass. So make this one zero zero. I don't have uncertainty in, in X direction. Go again to the Y error bar, error bar in, in Y direction, select it, and go down here, custom, select this one, and click specify value. What is my error bar? This is actually my error bar. Go and highlight them. I need the negative error bar, it's the same. This is my negative error bar. Click OK. Now I have my error bars. OK? I can show this, this error bar, maximum and minimum. I need to draw now the maximum slope and minimum slope. Maximum slope and minimum slope. So I will, I will add another, uh, another one here for maximum maximum line 